so here first of all we develop a query while using any one <coughs> backend tool so now I am open the chord So here we specify our table and it is going to return some data okay this is a simple query I don't want to build any large query just I am using a simple query so next we open the report builder So go to data model. So here we give our we paste our query or type the query. Next we connect with the database. Click on connect. Now okay. Right? So go to here. We don't want to design the layout. We want to generate the tags. Then first so first we want to approach the standard approach okay this is the standard approach while approaching this standard way we are getting the XML tags okay go to file save this report as RDF extension okay <coughs> XML 1 my report name is XML 1 okay save it in desktop So here I save our report as a RDF format. Okay, save. Once our report is completed, now we are going to check it whether it is created or not. Absolutely it is created. Right? Now we want to transfer this file from local machine to server machine. We connect with WinSCP and move this file from local machine to server machine if it test vas apps apps st application then here we choose the pivot on. here we have a reports then this is our file okay now our file will be transferred from local machine to server machine now our file is located in our server machine once the file is available in server machine now we are going to register in oracle applications and we will get the xml tags go to login into oracle applications so here initially we don't have any user ok so first of all i want to create one user Login with operations. Welcome. <coughs> yeah. Go to system administrator. We define one user user define okay so now I define a username is 9 
and password 654321 again 654321 responsibility system administrator then next application developer so total we have two aol objects that will be attached to our user now we close this one and log in with our user so jpp 9654321 and again current password 54321123456 now here we choose any one of the responsibility initially and login open <coughs> our main form once it is open then now we change the responsibility so here we define the executable okay in that executable we can give our executable name xml1 so just i want to follow the naming standards executable xml triple one Okay, XML one short name and purchasing method is Oracle reports and execution file name is XML one. So in this point of time, better to copy here. <coughs> so in that we don't get any confusion and we clearly copy the underscore also. Even the space is also space is also come. Okay. Save the records. Once it is completed, now we are going to define the concurrent program. Then here XML one program. Short name XML one SM. Purchasing XML one. Now here we choose the FO. So up to this one, these are the common setups or common steps for each and every report registration steps. Means common functionality. If you go for reports or if you go for XML also. But in XML we want to do the some change. That is the change is here. Okay. We want to generate the format is XML. Means it is generate the tag. Okay. So now save the report. Once we save the transactions, we want to attach this concurrent program to request group. Right now we don't have request group, we want to create it. Save the records. Again, we want to attach this concurrent program, sorry, request group to responsibility. There. Here we can give JPP 9 responsibility. Application is purchasing. And JPP 9, 1, 2, 3. Standard purchasing. Then here we can attach any one of the responsibility menu and here we attach our request group jpb9 request group save the records once it is completed now we attach this responsibility to our user yes. save the records once it is completed now go to switch the responsibility and <coughs> submit the request from SRS window submit no find it then complete it normal go to view output here we are find out the XML tags clear 
so this is the source file okay once we have the source file now we are going to design the layout okay so here observe this one total how many records are there there are 14 records are there 14 records are generated the tags if you want to count it then it will be have same 14 records and each and every record is having some columns employee number respected number and close tags yesterday already I told you each and every uh, field is having the open tag and close tag this is the open tag and this is the close tag close tag means use the backslash okay for every column otherwise the file is getting the error if you miss any one of the uh, field is going to closing tag automatically we are getting the error so definitely we want to maintain the open tag and close tag for every field okay here this is the group column observe this one how these columns are coming depends upon our report builder data model whatever the columns are there here the same each and every column is getting the tag here okay so list GEMP number and then this is the group column under that group column we have several columns these are the <coughs> grouped columns okay so employee number employee name job manager high date salary commission department what are the columns are appear in our data model that all columns are generated the XML tags while running the concurrent program in Oracle applications okay so this is the standard way this is the standard way and also we have one more way is there while generate the tax directly we generate the tax in report builder itself so here just I close that one minimize the files now go to report builder so suppose sometimes the people here observe this one basically when we are going to register the report in our Oracle applications once we completed the uh, means uh, query and uh, design layout completion after that we are registering Oracle applications so sometimes the people don't want to register the Oracle applications while generate the tax the people generate the tax here and completion of the layout design after that they are going to register I will, I will explain both ways okay so this is the standard way okay we are going to register each and every one will get the XML tags and will be going to design the layout again will be registered in Oracle application okay and here now I want to generate the XML tags generate the files okay XML so here we are going to choose any one of the name so here we should give the XML sorry always we can give the extension is small letters XML now click on save here it is showing that it is completed now check it whether it is generated or not the file is having the different format right now click on this one it is open click on close so observe this one same which is the information is appearing in our file here the same will be appear here okay but here we didn't save this file we didn't save this just we able to see the output only here we save the file so here observe the, this is the XML version this is the version is compatible for all applications any applications this version is compatible okay this is the standard one system automatically generate this one whenever you can save with any file dot XML automatically that version is <coughs> coming so here now I want to save this file also our file first file so how we are going to save this file go to file save page as and here XML program dot XML let us check it save now it is completed and close this one and will be check it right both are having same extension same extension so now if you open this one then it is also getting same this is the 
direct one this is the application one observe this one here also coming one version here also coming one version but both versions are showing sorry both versions are applicable for our any applications okay this is the version encoding clear all of you okay then once we are getting sorry once we completed this xml tags now we are going to design the layout